Last video regarding vectors and translations. And the question now is, okay, draw these three vectors. Yeah, I've written them in single column uh, notation and label them, please, okay? So maybe you wanna try that yourself first. Yeah. So vector A, two, three, vector B, three, minus four, and C, minus one, zero. Okay, so try it yourself before you look at my solution. So the first one, A, two, three. Now, it doesn't matter where you start, yeah, because a vector, you can put anywhere. So I'm gonna start somewhere, for instance, uh, here. Yeah, so let's just put a little dot there. That's my starting point. The top number is my horizontal translation. So that is one, two. And the bottom number is my vertical translation, a positive three, so I'm going up, one, two, three. Going a little bit quick, it's there. So, of course, you do this with a pencil and you use a ruler too, eh? The pencil and a ruler. That would be then A. However, now I'm only showing the magnitude of it. I realize that vectors have a magnitude, a size, but also a direction. Crucial, yeah? This wouldn't be correct. If I start here, if I finish there, I gotta show that arrow. It's in that direction. That's the direction of my vector. Good. B, three minus four. I'm gonna start here. It doesn't really matter where you start. Three minus four, so that is one, two, three in that direction, yeah, or positive three. Minus four, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna stop and finish over there. Uh, draw the arrow, label it, uh, write a B, just gonna check out three minus four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and it's correct. And I give the direction, don't forget to give the direction, students unfortunately sometimes do. Okay, last one, C, minus one, zero. I'm gonna start here, yeah, minus one. So that means to the left and zero up or down. So it's gonna be my end point already. So it's a very small little tiny vector, yeah. All right, uh, I'll put a C there. You do this with a pencil and a ruler as well. Huh? And the direction is like that. I start here and I finish there. Okay, it's time to start adding and subtracting some vectors. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.